According to its creators, this is the world's first robotic lawnmower. So, having the most beautiful lawn around now requires no titanic effort. The amazing device costs about $3,000. So, let's see if it's worth the price. The grass cutting range is 20 to 76 millimeters in height and about 25 centimeters in width. The mower is able to negotiate slopes up to 27 degrees and can avoid rocks and other obstacles. The EcoFlow app helps you control it. You just set the boundaries of the working area and then check the results. If it starts to rain, the mower stops working and leaves to recharge. For precise operation and protection from thieves, the mower supports 4G and GPS. The mower runs quieter than many vacuum cleaners and lasts up to four hours on one charge. The temperature range for operation is 0 to 45 degrees Celsius. Do you think it's a good investment? The approximate flight time to Mars is 162 days, which means a round trip is 324 days. But the explorers of the Red Planet will have to live there, and all that time they will need to eat. So, NASA regularly holds competitions for the most interesting food projects for interplanetary crews. One of the finalists in a past competition was this system. It's called Nucleus and allows you to grow herbs, vegetables, mushrooms, and even insects. The backbone of the system is nine modules that create a closed and pathogen-free system, minimizing air, water, and nutrient consumption. Interestingly, these competitions are well-funded, with a total prize fund up to one and a half million dollars. So it's no surprise that the current Nucleus prototype has already been assembled. We wish the team good luck in their future work. Continuing with our space theme, let's get acquainted with this square trio that has been to the ISS. Honey, Queen, and Bumble represent the Astro B family of robots. They were designed to assist humans by performing routine tasks like monitoring and maintenance. For example, the Queen robot shot a 360-degree panorama inside the ISS, while the Bumble robot was engaged in collecting mapping data. In the future, these robots will be used as backup for new space stations, such as the Lunar Gateway Station. Initially, mechanical robots will take charge, with humans joining later. There's a reason so many science fiction stories have a beloved robot alongside the human heroes. We know that we can't explore space alone," said a member of the team. Did you know that an old and unwanted smartphone can protect rainforests from logging and their inhabitants from poachers? The idea is ingeniously simple. The Rainforest Connection team uses smartphones to build devices that use AI to pick up suspicious sounds like chainsaws or trucks. They're powered by solar panels and placed high up in the trees, providing an approximate range of 500 meters. In addition, these devices record the sounds of the forest, which are available to everyone in a special app available for Android and iOS. You can support the project in any way you like. The team encourages everyone to send them an email. A ferry for transporting goods and people, a landing or work boat, a dredger, and all-in-one inflatable hull? Easy. These versatile vessels are sold by an international company originated from Slovenia. The 8-meter model weighs only 200 kilograms and can carry up to 5 tons of cargo. If necessary, it can carry heavy equipment such as tractors or up to 50 people. According to the manufacturer, it's not a very fast boat, but it can reach up to 48 kilometers per hour thanks to the 90-horsepower outboard engine. The company names the price upon request. At the same time, it's working on an inflatable amphibious vehicle and something similar to a small houseboat.
Another product in the best of all time category. At the time of its release, this VR PC was described as the most powerful wearable PC in the world. Developed by HP and targeted towards enterprise customers, it comes with a price tag of $4,000. Let's dive into its specifications. An NVIDIA Quadro P5200 16GB graphics card. An Intel Core i7-7820HQ processor, which can be overclocked to up to 3.9GHz. And up to 32GB of RAM and up to a terabyte of storage space. With a single charge, this PC can operate for up to 90 minutes, and it weighs less than 5 kilograms. It's compatible with popular VR headsets like the Oculus Rift, positioning it as an ideal choice for various training purposes, from medical professionals to military personnel. Next, the most powerful solar panel inspired by origami. A team from Italy offers up to 500 watts in a portable format. When folded up, one battery is eight times smaller than similar products. In addition, the whole system is modular, meaning you just need to plug in an extra battery to increase the power. The weight of the 500 watt battery is 13.5 kilograms. It folds down to a size of 19 by 40 by 7.5 centimeters. There's also a smaller version available, offering 300 watts of power and weighing 9 kilograms. The cable length in both cases is 3 meters. Installation takes less than a minute, and the batteries can be used almost anywhere because they're protected from salt water and wind. The estimated retail price is about $2,000. The Tokyo-based startup Jitai was launched in 2016, and its members are building machinery to work on the Moon and Mars. The team is making remarkable progress in terms of new ideas and speed, showcasing their test versions of a robotic arm and rover. The robotic arm has already been sent to the ISS, while the rover has its sights set on the Moon in 2026. The investors are delighted and have invested about $30 million in the company. The main idea is this. While SpaceX and Blue Origin are trying to reduce the price of the flight, Jitai aims to decrease labor costs. Sending people into space is a lengthy and expensive endeavor, so robots will reduce the cost of space manpower by about a hundred times. There are burglaries every 13 seconds in the US, explains a manufacturer of security systems. It's time to be proactive and use this solution. It guarantees a low number of false alarms, thanks to the use of AI and maximum efficiency thanks to the use of fog. Here's the logic behind it. While a conventional alarm system alerts both guards and the criminal, giving them time to escape with the stolen goods, this system utilizes fog to quickly reduce visibility to just a few inches. This hinders the criminal's ability to grab your valuables and find their way out quickly. The system uses no harmful substances or chemicals. You can set it up at home or in the office, and the smartphone app enables remote monitoring. According to last year's UN estimates, 733 million people around the world didn't have access to electricity. Engineers from Belgium are working to solve this problem. Their compact hydroelectric power plants produce up to 560,000 kilowatt hours per year from a single turbine. Installation takes a week, and maintenance is simple and can be done by local residents. The plant creates an artificial whirlpool so it's not harmful to fish and isn't too demanding either. Even a very small mountain stream can supply power to two or three households. If necessary, it's also possible to install it on water treatment facilities, like in the French city of Versailles. And a special software allows you to check the status of the station from any location at any time.
Here we have a wheelchair upgrade designed to enhance the mobility of people with disabilities. This upgrade enables longer strolls with reduced fatigue. It weighs about 6 kilograms and can travel up to 20 kilometers on a single charge at up to 9 kilometers per hour. The upgrade can work in all seasons at temperatures between minus 25 and 50 degrees Celsius. It can handle inclines of up to 10 degrees and allows to hop off curbs. The proprietary app provides detailed statistics and is compatible with the Apple Watch and Samsung Galaxy Watch. What do you think of cruising around the nearest body of water at 145 km per hour? If you're ready, climb aboard this beautiful vessel. Is it a water race car, a wave-cutting airplane, or a flying boat? Even the description of the promotional video made it hard to say exactly what kind of craft it is. The hull resembles an aircraft fuselage, but is lined with planks. There seems to be an aircraft engine, but you can remove it and put up a mast. There are also carbon fiber hydrofoils. All in all, assembling this craft is a complex and expensive process. As indicated by some reviews, the designer was looking for investors and talked about a limited edition of only 20 models per year. The approximate price for a two-seater version with a 140 horsepower engine is $214,000. A few more facts from the UN. In 2017, about 11 billion tons of cargo were transported by sea, and by 2050, the demand for this type of transportation will triple. The load is growing, and both new technological solutions and traditional methods are used to protect ships. For example, these fenders. They save ships from damage while they're anchored or when moving cargo from one ship to another. They're available in sizes of up to 4.5 by 9 meters, which is enough even for tankers. The fenders are manufactured by a company in India using recycled tires. The operating pressure is about 0.8 atmospheres, and if needed, the specifications can be customized to meet specific requirements. Our selection continues with these Freeline Skates, a unique blend of traditional skateboards and roller skates. They were introduced back in 2003 and have gained a solid fan base in the US, South Korea, and Japan. Riding on Freeline Skates demands exceptional body control, especially in the legs, and in downhill races, riders reach speeds of 50 km per hour. You can buy an entry-level pair for only $25, but beginners are advised to also purchase a helmet and protection for the arms and legs. Even classic gas cylinders are being updated. Tools like these will help you to carry them. There are versions for two-person work and for solo work with the use of a lifter. Usually, such grips can hold up to 120 kilograms, don't need any consumables, and have a built-in protection to prevent any scratches on the cylinders. And the sale and refinement of such tools was spurred on by the pandemic. According to experts' estimates, the daily oxygen demand in India alone reached 12 million cubic meters. Here's an equally impressive engineering product from Amsterdam, a camera that doesn't need a lens. The AI takes pictures based on location data, and there are several settings similar to those of a normal camera, such as grain and sharpness. The AI takes into account the weather, time of day, temperature, and even the surroundings, and the resulting pictures are truly impressive. What's even more amazing is that it all runs on a Raspberry Pi 4 microcomputer, which you can buy for about $35, and that its body is 3D printed. Anyone can give it a try. The creator of the project has made an online version. <laughs> 